So the next thing is to get started with uh, Postman and let us see how we can perform testing on an API, right? So initially we'll, we, are, we are going to start with the manual testing of the APIs and later on we're gonna uh, use uh, the rest assured API and we're gonna automate uh, these API uh, testing as well, right? So to get started with Postman, the very first thing we need to do is to download Postman and it's very simple and straightforward. Simply say download Postman, go to the very first link. And from here, uh, if you're on Windows, you're gonna get uh, the setup file for 32 and 64 bit. Same thing, you're gonna get it for Ubuntu and for Mac operating system. Right, the installation is uh, very straightforward, right? You're not gonna face any issues in case you are a Mac user you'll get an installer for Mac as well, right? So you just need to double click on it and install it. So I'm not going to create a, a separate video uh, for installing Postman for Mac because uh, the steps are completely same, right? In case you face any issues or challenges, then uh, just add it to the question and answer forum and I'm gonna help you uh, in case you get stuck anywhere, right? So once you download it, uh, you get a setup file just double click on it next next like we do a normal installation right it gets installed on your machine uh, and you'll get an icon of postman like this right just double click on it and it will actually going to launch postman so while launching postman uh, this is the very first screen you're going to see where you're gonna get a couple of options over here, create new, then templates, then API network, right? What are templates and API network? We need not to worry about it right now. Initially, we're gonna focus on uh, create new, and this is the main thing that we're gonna focus on is creating a request, right? So this is uh, where we're gonna uh, request a particular API. Well, <laughs> gonna uh, use all uh, the methods like uh, all the HTTP methods like get, uh, post, right? All these things will be doing it. And then collections is uh, basically, it's like a folder that contains all your requests, right? Now what collection is, what environment is, right? We're gonna see all these things practically in our Postman lectures, right? Then there are some advanced topics as well, uh, like something related to API documentation, mock server, monitor uh, is basically to check the performance of your APIs. Normally, uh, we don't do it through Postman. We check the performance while integrating uh, JMeter because JMeter is for performance testing. So we're gonna have a session on uh, JMeter integrated with uh, the web services uh, uh, in order to perform the performance testing on of an API. We're gonna look at that part as well. Then API documentation is uh, like in case you want to create a documentation of your API, you can publish it here. But if you are publishing your uh, API documentation uh, uh, through Postman, then it will be publicly av available to everyone. Right, so publicly available uh, as in uh, Postman has got a free version as well as a paid version. In case you don't want to uh, show your API documentation to others, then uh, you need to make it private and for that you need to buy some license. Mm -hmm. So API documentation, generally uh, people do it with the help of another API called as Swagger API, right? So we need not to worry about those things right now. We're gonna see all these things in very much detail in our upcoming lectures. So uh, I'm going to close uh, this uh, these options right now. We're gonna have a detailed discussion around this. But before that, uh, let me walk you through uh, this Postman tool and let me show you different features of this tool. So on the top, you can see there's a menu, file, edit, uh, view, and help, right? Uh, in file, you can see we have on, uh, we have an option of creating a new Postman window. So if I click on it, a similar window uh, will be opened up over here. This is uh, another Postman, right? You can create uh, a request collection on this uh, window as well, right? Then 
we have uh, a new runner window so this uh, like once we create our collections we're gonna run them so we're gonna see this thing as well then import uh, if we have already created some collections and we want to import it uh, to our existing postman screen uh, we can do it with this option this is similar to like uh, you may have worked on eclipse uh, where you may have uh, imported any existing project uh, could be a java project this is the same thing when you're working with postman you import uh, existing collections to this workspace similarly we have uh, edit these are all general options then view you can zoom in zoom out right uh, there is nothing much to discuss in the view right then help uh, generally provide uh, the documentation right you can check for updates right so these are a couple of things uh, that you're going to find in uh, the main menu options of the postman tool now down to these menus uh, you'll see a new button over here uh, like whenever you click on it you can create a new request collection environment right we're going to look at these things and uh, next to new there's an uh, import button so import means you can uh, import uh, collections which are uh, like your existing collections from a different project or maybe let's say uh, if there are in, in a team of 10 testers uh, working on different different collections if someone wants to share their collections with you then you can directly uh, drag that collection and drop it over here and it will be added uh, to your workspace right then runner is uh, something uh, i can relate it to uh, a test suit right where let's say if you have hundreds of collections right uh, hundreds of requests in a collection and you want to run all those requests uh, like at the same time or you want to give uh, like some delay in between uh, uh, the test execution uh, for each uh, request so you can manage all those things with the help of this collection runner so we're gonna uh, look at uh, in more depth uh, on, on how collection runner actually works so we'll be using this collection runner a lot while working on postman then we have uh, something called as a uh, workspace now workspace is uh, basically like uh, um, an area where you'll be performing all the tasks you'll be uh, adding all the scripts or adding all the requests right you can have a new workspace created as well right you can have a multiple workspace created then you can select the workspace from here right you can uh, take a look at all the workspaces that you have created so workspace is uh, basically the same thing that uh, if you have ever worked on uh, eclipse editor uh, like if you have ever used the basic core Java programming then you must be familiar with what workspaces basically what all things that we gonna do in a one single project get stored at some location and we give it some name uh, and that is what our workspace is right so there are uh, this is like one of the workspace if I click over here it will gonna launch the things uh, based on that particular workspace right so uh, here you're gonna see multiple options uh, for creating a new workspace we're looking at all the workspaces right so this is workspace is generally about and then you can invite uh, a team member of yours uh, who can uh, look at your workspace and you can uh, collaborate with them you can share your collections your csv files your text files right so this is what uh, the workspace and the invite option is and then uh, on the right hand side we have uh, some environment settings right if you remember when we click on new we get an option of uh, setting up an environment over here so environment is uh, environment is something related to let's say uh, if you have some apis on a on a local server 
or uh, the APIs on a staging server, right? So you set up environments uh, uh, like a separate environment for production, separate for staging, separate for beta, right? So what are environments and how they actually works? We're gonna have a detailed discussion uh, around the environments as well. There are some global variables that you can define right uh, some local uh, to that particular environment that you can define so uh, uh, what are these things uh, we're gonna look at uh, at uh, in in very detail uh, while understanding postman uh, then then again on the left hand side you'll see one history option so history is basically it will maintain the history of what all a request that you have made uh, right uh, you can see one get one post right if you want to delete this request you can delete it from here right so it will be deleted from the history then collections we're going to show you what all collections you have you can create a new collection from here as well then api this is currently in a beta version we are not going to talk about uh, it in in postman this is not required for the time being then down left hand side you have uh, this height sidebar panel right so at times you want to see the request the, the response of your request and if you want to expand it you can do it from here this is something that uh, you need to search in that particular request and uh, this is your console logs so any log that will be generated you can uh, you should be able to see those uh, logs over here. So these are uh, Postman console logs. And then there are a number of other options in this tool. Uh, something, let's say if I go to settings, right? You can see a lot of things over here as well, right? You can connect to a particular proxy, uh, allow some certificates like SSL certificates if any particular request it requires then uh, there's something called as theme you want to change the theme of your postman you can click on it and uh, then you're going to see that uh, this is a little darker theme right so uh, you can uh, use this theme as well or you can uh, stick to uh, the by default theme as well right so i'll switch back to the lighter one and then there are some some shortcuts that uh, you can see over here uh, how to get the requested url right open a new tab a new uh, close the tab right switch to the previous tab and number of shortcuts are available uh, over here so uh, try exploring uh, this tool more try going through each and every option and uh, one of the best thing is uh, the postman guys they have actually created a very uh, a good documentation on this tool so if you go over here click on explore the docs uh, you're gonna see uh, starting from the installation part right and exploring each and every uh, feature of this tool sending first request creating a new collection navigating postman right then uh, sending the api request and n number of things uh, you're gonna find uh, about the history about debugging logging certificates right so all these things that uh, we discussed about in a high level uh, of this tool you're gonna find all these options over here right this is very well documented right although we'll be looking at a uh, lot of practical examples right while we are hitting these apis we are sending the request so but yes if in case you want to get familiarized with this uh, tool you want to see each and every small option of uh, this tool what it uh, actually does you can actually uh, look at uh, this wonderful document provided by the postman developers right so that that's all in this section uh, in the next session uh, we are actually going to see how to send the very first uh, rest api request